record everything. So, uh, so I, I changed this a little bit. So now, now you'll be able to see a little bit more, I think, about what we're trying to do here on the big picture. So we're, we're trying to program um, the embedded computer to interact with the keypad and the, L and the uh, LCD uh, uh, devices. So when you do that, it's typically called writing a driver for a specific um, I.O. device. And that's what we're, we're starting in this lab, but we're not getting all the way there. So um, we're going to be doing this over the course of, of three labs. In exercise, uh, lab exercise one, we're going to develop the uh, double in function and the printf LCD function, which will be inside of the double in function. Okay. Now, that's what we're doing this week. Uh, notice, though, so it's important to recognize that all of these functions are already available in the ME477 library. The source is not. The binaries are available. The source is not, so nobody's cheating. I know you guys wouldn't do that. Um, but the, uh, but they're, they're already available in that library. So uh, as you write these, you can use the other functions before you've written the, your own f gets keypad or your own get care keypad. We will be writing our own, but we don't need to write our own in order to write this higher level function. So we're actually going to start at the top level, the double in, which to explain how it works, essentially double in is going to be a function you're going to hand a string to, a prompt to, so enter velocity for instance. And it's going to stick that prompt onto the LCD screen. Okay. So it's going to use these lower level functions to do that, but it's going to put that ultimately on the LCD screen. And it's going to return um, um, whatever the user enters into the keypad, okay? as long as it's something that's a valid uh, uh, character. So the person enters stuff into the keypad, and, and it's going to um, uh, be returned to the vel uh, uh, and assigned to the vel um, variable. So it doesn't mean that uh, along, the, along the way that we type the number, the number doesn't show up at the same time, or after we type, we click enter, and then it show up? Uh, this the double in will wait until you've, you've hit enter and then it'll return it. But there's a lower level one that's going to, every time you hit a key, it has to interpret it and print it. So we'll, we'll talk more about that in the, in the coming labs. But we don't have to deal with that at this level. We're at the higher level, fortunately. Um, so we're doing uh, double in and print F L C D, And we can use F gets keypad, get care keypad, get key, and put care LCD from the library. So we interact with them only as input and output. We don't have to actually write them in this lab. Now, um, something specifically I wanted to mention about C and uh, strings. Okay, so this this that we're putting in to as the argument for double in is a string. And a string is a data type. It's a very common data type, a very basic data type, but it's not a number. It's composed of several typically ASCII characters. Okay? So how that's represented in memory is actually an array in memory where one uh, uh, character is represented in one byte and the next uh, uh, characters represented in the next one, and the next characters in the next one. So it's actually um, an array in C. It's it's represented as an array uh, of characters. So when you hand an array of characters, which is a string, to a function in uh, C, what it does is it it, it hands a pointer. So um, We'll talk more next time about pointers, and we, we can have some discussions on Slack about pointers. But pointers are 
actually um, uh, references to the address and memory where something is, and not containing the actual value itself, not containing the contents of the memory. So when, when you hand this string to double in, um, the reason its prototype has this asterisk um, in there is that it's expecting it to be a pointer. And that's exactly what it is. When you hand any, any um, uh, string to a function in C, it doesn't actually copy the whole string. What it does is it just sends a pointer to the, to the place in memory where that string is living. And we have to interact with that inside double in with that understanding, the fact that this is a, a pointer to the first byte in memory, the first address in memory where that uh, 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 st string array resides. Now, what I'm considering doing is, um, for next week, we're running out of time today, uh, what I'm considering doing is maybe I, I I'll tr might try to record a couple video lectures on some of the C stuff. Because um, it, it, it kind of sucks because we only meet once a week. And I don't want you guys to have to wait an, like, an entire week to get more instruction on pointers and C. <laughs> um, so, and that's what a lot of next week is going to be about. But I, I kind of think I might just try to give you guys a little bit more um, discussion of this stuff in a video or two and get it to you before we meet next time. And then when we meet next time, we might not have as much to talk about in class because I don't want to overload you guys. So I, what I might do is I might, we might just like go over the lab and work more next week. So how does that sound? Yeah. This class is tough to run once a week, I have to say. So... Yeah, I'm finding that out as we go. So, um, yeah, let's uh, reconvene. I think I said some important stuff I should upload to YouTube, right?